What the fuck am I looking at? I gotta clear my browsing history. I do not want that being oh, shown. Okay. <clears throat> um, we wanted to do a video about like the state of WWE right that now. That right there is a big part of the problem. About a trillion people sent me. You gotta talk about the NXT dancing. You gotta talk about the NXT dancing. Virgo, like, what are these people talking about? <laughs> Just... What are the what are the Mongols talking about? So. We go on the interwebs, we just type in NXT dancing, because we don't know what the fuck <laughs> these people are talking about, and we get a video of Fergal Devitt, <laughs> that's his real name, and Bailey reenacting a scene from the ultimate chick flick. Why are they dead? This is, and there's neckbeards in the audience who aren't chicks. <laughs> That's when you chick CM Punk. <laughs> That's when you do it. You don't, you don't. You... That is work rate. <laughs> That's work rate. It's like an NXT house show. Everybody's raving about their show. It's like 30 people. This is supposed to be like the hardcore revolutionary fed. Look at all the hardcore action. Triple H knows what he's doing. He's saving wrestling. I love this shit. And it, it, it's people dancing. It's not just people dancing, it's Jay Leno with tits dancing with a boxer brief model. <laughs> there are people, a good friend of mine from school. Good friend. The person right. thought he was a vampire. He writes online, because he's a huge Undertaker fan since like kindergarten. He was a huge Undertaker fan all through college. He became a neckbeard. Right, kind of. But he's never gotten to see Undertaker live, so he posts on Facebook... I've resolved myself to the fact that I'll never get to see Undertaker live. But, and he posts a link to NXT tickets, and he writes, Get this! Bauer's a close second! Are you fucking kidding me? This motherfucker makes Patrick Swayze look like John Wayne! And he's dancing with Bailey in the middle of the ring! That's the Undertaker?! <laughs> that, that's the next best thing to seeing the Undertaker? This fucking GQ model? Dancing with Jay Leno with a vagina? He puts scary face paint on. Oh, good, he looks like Ultimate Carnage, Carth. Oh, the Deadpool movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking, and this is the future. This is going to come up. This is why we need Cena. Which brings us to the main part of this video. We're going to talk about the overall state of the product. Oh, the product. The product, the product blows. blows gigantic, humongous penises. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. Let's, let's start with the mania build. Where is it? <laughs> Where is Bailey? Where is Roman Reigns? Why are there rumors he's not going to be on TV until March 21st? It's because he's so he awful. He hurt his nose. Oh, really? Is that I don't give a shit. You know what it you is? You need to be on. This is worse than last year when him and Brock, the buildup was them tugging on the belt. Do you remember that? Because at least that happened. At least he interacted. Broke. I want the belt for my family. Go. Dean Ambrose needs to be as far away from the main event as possible. Get him out. Fire him. Light him on fire and scatter his ashes in another country. He deserves nothing. Why the fuck? Are Why they... is he being promoted? Why is he like the top of the card? Why? They're wasting so much time with this stupid, meaningless roadkill build up. Like where? I don't even know what the fuck Ambrose did all year. In the WrestleMania, like, fiscal year from last April to now, what has Dean Ambrose accomplished? Tell me, what feuds has he been in? Why are we supposed to be, can Ambrose dethrone the game? No! He's not going to dethrone the game. He can't even dethrone his own fucking blow up doll that he carries around probably. Speaking of roadkill, there might not be a review hangout thing tonight because there's going to be poop instead. So um, I'm sure the frauds will do their own hangout that you can check out. Roadkill's not a pay-per-view. It's a special event. You shouldn't watch it because you're making WWE think that instead of giving us good shows, they can give us this half-assed shit on the network once every couple of weeks what? and that'll suffice. Don't watch Roadkill. I, I'm telling you right now, don't fucking watch Roadkill. Why are they doing Roadkill? I don't understand. Like, the match is Triple H versus Roman Reigns. I get that people hate Roman Reigns, and adding him on TV isn't going to help him, but that's, you know, you dug your fucking grave, now lay in it. Ambrose versus Triple H does nothing to help, because Ambrose is not going to fight Triple H at WrestleMania. He's fighting Brock Lesnar, which I don't give a shit. This is like the first time I don't give a shit about a Brock. I even cared about the punk one. I don't care about this Brock Lesnar match. You know what people really don't care about? They don't care about Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt at Roadkill. Why are you doing this? What is this pay-per-view special event on the network for $9.99 there, John, for a month? What is that doing for anybody? It's not building towards Mania because nothing at it is connected to Mania in any way. How I, I can't believe how stupid this is. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. You put up a giant thing, WrestleMania, 27 days away. 
Okay. Why is not? Why is there no build to anything? Make people care. Jesus Christ Almighty! You can't have the Undertaker. Even if, a even if uh, Ambrose vs. Lesnar is a shitty feud, it'll do the fucking mustard squirting. <laughs> at least that's part of the feud. I'd rather have Ambrose squirting mustard at Lesnar than having him fight Triple H because that does nothing. And this Undertaker shit in recent years is getting out of control now. <laughs> I get that he's old. I get that he's arthritic. I get that he doesn't give a shit anymore. But then don't do Undertaker matches. Have the fucking guy on Raw every week leading up to Mania and have him on for more than two minutes. Have him do more than point at the motherfucking sign. I love him. I think if Undertaker wants to be a part of it, he has every right to. They can give him the belt for all I care, but he's got to be there. It's ridiculous. I, I'm tired of this stupid shit where someone's cutting promos. And we're about. not changing our position on no. part-timers. I like part-timers. I think they're great. But while they're part-timing, like at least when Jericho part-times, he's on every week. Batista was doing house shows when he was right, part-timing. Right, you have to be on. And if you physically can't, then just retire. Seriously, it's obnoxious that Vince McMahon, oh, the Undertaker's gonna fight my son Shane! It's gonna be a great match! You're gonna love it! And then he comes... Last week, when the fucking gong rang and Vince came out, why are they doing that? They, they know we want to see Taker, so they do this stupid bait-and-switch bullshit that isn't funny. It's not a heel thing. It's just fuck you, audience. That's what it is. The company is saying fuck you every week with these garbage-ass shows. You have one cool moment in the last year when Shane comes back. And then the main problem is from the lower card all the way to the upper mid card, it's just jobbers having random matches. <laughs> like, this is why I don't care about Ambrose versus Lesnar, because the entire year, Dean Ambrose has been having quote unquote five star matches with the likes of Ziggler and Owens every week. Bray Wyatt. It does nothing to enhance his character, it does nothing to enhance his credibility. Lesnar is the Lesnar matches. You have this part-time guy who's an immediate draw because he has name recognition from UFC and football and everywhere he's ever been. People love the guy. His goal in the company is to fight big fucking stars to make people really care. Like Lesnar versus Batista, that'd be a fucking dream match. Lesnar versus Triple H again would be another dream match, even though everyone pretended to hate that. No, you put him with Dean Ambrose. For no reason. And then before that, instead of... Other than that, Ambrose is inside. Yeah, don't build that feud up. Have him fighting Bray Wyatt for no reason. At least if he fought fucking Bray Wyatt at Mania, it'd be the most retarded gay match that no one would be interested in ever. But it makes sense because of the stupid shit that happened in the Rumble. Why is he mad at Dean Ambrose? Because he's quirky and talks on the floor? And the whole idea of Ambrose wanting to fight Lesnar because he likes getting beat up is stupid! <laughs> he's cutting promos saying, you know, Lesnar, you're, you're probably going to hurt me a lot and probably beat me. That's why I I'm like pain. Oh, Great, right, so get on your fucking knees and let Vince whip you backstage. <laughs> Don't get off my fucking TV screen. Ugh. What else is even happening at WrestleMania? Nothing! Not, oh, AJ Styles and Jericho. Oh, right, that's going to be an exciting match. They're going to spoon in the ring. That'll be great. Uh, Nobody knows who Styles is. They can put on a 12-star match and no one will give a shit. Yeah. I'll be just like when Fandango fought Jericho. I was like, why? You know why no one will give a shit? Because this time, two months ago, neither guy was on TV. Uh, there's nothing... We'll have like 20 Divas matches and we'll say uh, there's a revolution going on. Yeah, Charlotte will be there and her face will be on the screen and we'll, we're supposed to be impressed by her athleticism. And All this Divas shit has done is make me have to look at pictures online of 300-pound men cosplaying as Becky Lynch. Ew, really? The Divas Revolution is one of the worst implemented ideas in the history of media. It's taking something, something no one gave a shit about to begin with, <laughs> shoving it down our throats and having the most Turn off this douchey asshole and Michael Cole try to convince us that we're actually enjoying it. Take three of the weirdest looking women on the planet, tell us how beautiful they are, make them have the same boring, unwatchable shit matches as before, but instead of ignoring it like you used to, have the faggot meatloaf man <laughs> tell us that it's amazing. It's like if you're in fucking high school and you get the mystery meat for lunch, <laughs> and as you're shoveling it in your mouth trying not to vomit, Michael Cole's standing over your shoulder, yeah, that meat's really good. Every Monday we get to have this great mystery meat. I'm loving it. <laughs> That's what this shit is! Yeah. Before that, you'd eat the mystery meat, try to throw up, but no one would be there telling you it was great. Everyone would be around like, yeah, this is shit. Now people are pretending it's like Vlank and Yon. It's awful. And can we get some normal-looking women, please? 
Charlotte Flair is ridiculous. It looks like something from a comedy movie when you're in a strip club, like, oh, wow, let's just get some hot babes, and then this thing walks over. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Charlotte fucking Flair. Sasha Banks, with her neon pink hair, needs to either dye it in normal color or hang herself, grow some fucking bangs because you got a forehead like an alien, and you look like Jar Jar fucking Binks. Open your eyes all the way, you're not Asian. And Becky Lynch with her fucking orange fucking hair and her dumb goggles and trench coat. Stop cosplaying! She's not cool! It's some fucking neck beardy steampunk bullshit that no one... Like, what the fuck is steampunk? Everybody's whole steampunk's real fun, guys! What's steampunk? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's an alternate past world! This is the shit we're dealing with instead of WrestleMania! What else is even happening? There's nothing else happening. Who's getting in the Hall of Fame this year? Uh, Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man! The Godfather. Stang! Um... That's great. I don't even remember. Oh, the fabulous Freebirds. Don't, don't Google Michael Hayes, Joe. Yeah, hey, Rosa Mendez is gonna give the acceptance speech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. <clears throat> Dark times, folks. It's really bad. Every year it gets progressively worse. I thought 2014 was going to be the worst year in wrestling history. And then 2015 happened. And I'm like, fuck. That's really bad. Not Nothing's going to beat that. And then so far, we're like two and a half months into fucking 2016. And it's fucking worse. Yeah, Shane's back. That's awesome. Okay. Do something. Do something other than punch security guards and... <laughs> Can we, like, it's garbage. Everything stinks. It stinks! Fuck Cody Rhodes. Wait, one more thing! You can't give WrestleMania away for free! <laughs> At least, I'm tired of this. Give a credit to the people that have had the network for the past three years. Yeah. It's bullshit! The people who've been billed twice a month. Fuck Cody Rhodes.